Hello, this is West Virginia Tim. We're not at the final location for this cache, we're actually at my home, but I wanted to show you how to build this cache. First, I wanted to build a gadget cache. So it's a gadget cache, but I needed to build a very low maintenance gadget cache, which means no moving parts, but yet uh, easy to maintain. So this is an easy to build, easy to maintain, gadget cache. It's a lot of fun. It puts a smile on your face. Let's take a look at it. The paint job is actually painted this way because it's going to match the environment that it eventually goes into. I know I'm looking for a WV-10 uh, gadget cache, so I come right up to a birdhouse. I look underneath and I see a lock, and so I'm pretty sure this is going to be the cache. Plus, it can't be a birdhouse. The, uh, the front solid. So, as I open it up, let's take a look, a closer look at the inside. Okay, let me get you a little closer and take a peek at this. Okay, as we open the cache up, you'll notice that there are 24 characters, um, both men and women, all different types of characters here, on, here in the cache. And then across the top, there's a row of numbers, and then down the side, there's a row of numbers. Now I have to refer to the cache page because I've got to try to figure out how to open this lock that's underneath here. The cache page says, someone was seen crossing the border. Good news, Pedro, who's the main character here, saw the culprit. When he was interviewed by police, he made a statement. Read the statement carefully and try to identify which of these culprits were caught crossing the border. So the first line says, I never saw such a man run so fast. He was a long way away, but I knew he saw me. He must have had good eyesight. I'm going to stop there and not give any more away. But it tells us right off the bat that it's not a man. So that means we can take out Susan and Maria, for example, and Claire. And then we know he had good eyesight. So it allows us to take uh, away uh, Joe down here at the bottom, who's got glasses. So as you read the whole story, it gives you clues that helps you narrow down which of these characters cross the border. And then after you find the character, so if it happened to be Peter, you would enter one, four, and the cache page says enter it twice. And I'll show you the lock on the bottom. So if we enter one, four twice, and the character happened to be Peter, then we're going to be able to access the log. So I take off my lock, open my door, and uh, my medium lock and lock comes out. Uh, it's the size enough that it will hold a, a very large log. So this log will hold uh, hundreds, if not a thousand different names. Okay, now we found it. Stick around. We're going to run into my shop and I'm going to show you how to build this. This is a simple to build cache, no moving parts, very low maintenance. You're welcome to copy this idea. A lot of people ask me, how do I attach uh, my birdhouses? Uh, my preferred method of attachment, of course, is to use my own 4x4 post. Of course, this is just for demonstrations. This is not allowed. You're not allowed to put a screw into a tree. So I prefer to use my own 4x4 post. You know you're in West Virginia when you can hear a rooster crow crowing. So I use my own 4x4 post, but I use two different, at least two different methods of attachment. One is I use an exterior wood screw that uses a T20 bit. It's not, everybody can buy these, uh, but it's not something that maybe somebody will have in their um, toolbox. Only thing I'm trying to do is to make it a little harder to steal. Sure, they're going to steal it if somebody wants to steal your birdhouse. Uh, the other thing I use is I use these timber locks. I love these. I like the four inch ones. Um, and it takes a, a special bit and they kind of look like this. So I usually put a timber lock in the top and a timber lock in the bottom. And that's how I attach it uh, to my 4x4 post. So stick around, let's go into, the, into my shop. Let me show you how to build this one. You're welcome to copy this idea. Take this concept and make it your own. The sky's the limit on the different ways that you can use this concept. Hey, thanks for watching. This cache was built around this Guess Who game. I was exchanging emails with Stephen Wilson, thank you Stephen, and he shared with me that he had used a Guess Who game to make his cache. Now I haven't seen his cache, 
But that's the beauty of geocaching. You can take an idea or a concept and you can run with it and kind of make it your own. That's what I'm hoping you'll do. So I bought this on eBay rather inexpensively. I took out the characters and I placed them on a single board and I mod podged them using an exterior mod podge. Make sure it's exterior. I mod podged them on and put both vertical and horizontal numbers that will coincide with the lock. I put five or six coats of mod podge on here to make sure these are very secure. They won't come off with weather or anybody will bother pulling them off. Then I built my cache around this board knowing that my board had to be this big. So this is where I started and then I built around it. The second thing to build is um, the bottom board or the board that holds my uh, lock and lock. And um, that's real simple because now you've got this as a given. You just build this behind it uh, so that it will fit in behind it. Make sure that it's large enough to hold your lock and lock. I put a little bar across the top so in case a casher puts it back in very vigorously, it won't fall out into the birdhouse. So this is part number one, this is part number two, and then you just build your birdhouse around it. Now you'll notice, if you look around here, uh, the sides of my cache and the tops and all the other pieces are already done and painted. I used to just build my geocache, my birdhouse, and then I would just paint it. But it would all pretty much have to be the same color, or if I decided to do two different colors, I'd have to use that uh, blue painter's tape, and it was very, very hard. So what I've done now is I cut my birdhouse out, but before I put it, and I kind of piece it together and make sure it's going to fit, but before I assemble it, I then take my pieces and I paint them. And it allows me to paint the sides, for example, a different color than the top. And it just really adds a little pop to the cache, makes them look unique and very, very nice. And then you can use little uh, paint schemes like I've done here just to add a little pizzazz to the cache. So now let's assemble this and see what it looks like after we're done.